Well, this week we're getting ready for uh, Duke Blue Devils. We're playing really good. Winners of five in a row, seven and two. And uh, obviously a very veteran team, team that doesn't beat themselves. Uh, I think eight of the 11 guys on defense are uh, four, fourth or fifth year players. They have an offensive line that has uh, 144 starts among them. I think four of them had 21 or 22 starts consecutively, which is an amazing uh, stat. Uh, they're top three right now in, uh, in uh, each of the four running special teams, kickoff, kickoff return, punt, and punt return, as well as being top three in, uh, in penalties against, and they're doing a great job protecting the, the football. So they're, they're eliminating uh, a lot of things that, that cause teams to lose, and uh, they're a veteran group. They're getting excellent special teams play. And, uh, and obviously, uh, that's, uh, that's why they're playing so well. well. So with that, I'll open up to any questions that you have, and uh, we'll move forward. Now, when you, when you went to Temple, I'm sure you got told you can't win there. And David has said a couple of times over the years, he got told the same thing you do. You're not going to win here. How much does that motivate the coach when you get told, this job you just took, by the way, you can't do anything? Yeah, uh, there's no question that uh, it, it provides motivation um, but, you know, the issue is you can only listen to the, to the fact that you can't do that when you go in. After that, you've got to block it all out. So if you're, uh, if you're still listening to that, and I, I think this is David's sixth year, so uh, obviously, uh, you know, I'm sure he and, the, and, and his team and his staff were motivated by that, but they've made so much progress over the last two years, and he's been able to stay there long enough to get his system in, to redshirt guys, uh, to get it situated the way he wants it situated now and uh, I think he's doing a heck of a job and um, they have a lot of maturity they like I said they don't really beat themselves but uh, clearly that has provided fuel for them I don't think it's fuel for them anymore Tim I think right now they're, they're focused on other things moving the program forward How have you seen that program develop? Um, again I, I just think it's uh, you know Coach Cutler is a great coach, number one. Number two, uh, he believes in what he believes in, and he doesn't flinch. And he's, uh, he stayed to his, his plan uh, methodically. And I'm sure, you know, when they lost to Richmond a couple of years ago, everybody was like, oh, you know, here we go again, that type of deal. And he just kept pressing forward. And he had a group of kids that have bought in, and, and uh, obviously uh, that's why they're playing so well. And, and uh, they're mature on both sides, on defense, like I said. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of experience and a lot of maturity. So um, they're playing uh, they're playing uh, they're executing really well right now. That's why they're winning. Al, just uh, I know it's probably hard to think of this in, in a global context, right? Right in the middle of your season. But yeah. from a talent standpoint, how far are you in your mind from you know top team in the country, number two ranked team in the country? Is is that anything which is coming to focus? Uh, over the last couple weeks, how big is that gap, do you think? Well, I mean, I obviously, uh, I believe that we're still building. You know, I've, I've said that all along, even, even when uh, people had us ranked higher than we are now, or whatever the case may be. I, you know, we have a long way to go, and uh, we've, you know, uh, obviously we've had some obstacles. So, uh, but we're, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're growing, we're, we're maturing. I feel like the guys are starting to understand the process, and, and, starting to really buy into it physically, mentally, um, all the elements of it. Uh, but we're not, we're not where we need to be yet. And, uh, you know, uh, again, that's, you know, we're, we're moving it forward. We're growing. Our seniors that are with us right now, uh, they've never been 7-2. and two. So they, they, they know what we're playing against right this week in Duke. They're focused on Duke. They're trying to get better. Um, but certainly we want to, you know, be able to move the program forward in, in – in uh, coming years. I know the seniors would want to finish with a great season. And then all the young guys, you know, got a new facility, you know, got a lot of new things going on around here. And, and uh, obviously the NCAA is behind us now. So they want to push the program forward too. And that's all, that's all part of it, including recruiting. Yeah, that's. So, like, is this team mature enough, you think, to, to look at short term and long term? Simultaneously? Well, I think the, all they're really focused on is, is Duke, Tim, to be honest with you. So, if, 
if um, if we can't play in the ACC championship game, obviously they they're smart enough to say, okay, we better reset our goal, and 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 it, that which can still be significant. That really has no bearing on uh, their preparation in terms of uh, Duke, which I think has been good. Uh, and again, you get a, a pulse on it early, and I do too, uh, because of my involvement with special teams. And if kids come ready, and they know their assignments on special teams on Tuesday, I know that you know that's making its way through the uh, the building. So, you know, uh, they, I know they want to push the program forward, Tim. They haven't been to a bowl game. You know, seniors haven't won a bowl game. Nobody else has been to a bowl game. Uh, so, you know, all that's part of it, but at the, at the end of the day, they know and we know uh, we're playing a team right now in Duke that's playing with a lot of confidence in their, you know, at, at home uh, in a very veteran team. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Again, uh, I'm, I'm taking the responsibility for Saturday, not Stephen Morris. Uh, uh, I'm directly uh, in, responsible for the special teams, and we fumbled the ball twice and gave them a short field on the other one. That's like three, three turnovers right there. And they happened in succession, which compounded each time. Um, Stephen, if he was allotted to have 68 plays, would have had his best game of the year. Uh, he had 53 plays. Scored 24 points against a team that has been given up 16 points. He had 300 yards passing, which that doubles what, they're, what they've been given up, I believe. And you guys follow closer than I do. He was 16 of 27 with five drops. He could have been 21 of 27. He averaged 20 yards of completion. So um, he didn't have any turnovers. Uh, I, I just think it's, it's unfair, especially given what he's been playing with and dealing with for eight weeks now. So again, boo me, you know, uh, uh, be frustrated with me. But Stephen Morris now, I mean, he's done everything, including, you know, stand and fight here uh, the last two years. And, uh, and he's our quarterback, and he's our leader, and he has my, my support on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wasn't listening to the people that loved them back then either. So I, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. It's always about change. You know, the answer is change, you know. Um, and, and, and as I said in the beginning of the year, because I believe, Susan, you asked me in the beginning of the year, uh, you know, what, what has changed on defense? And, and it, it was the discipline and making tough decisions not to change, to stay with it and do all the little things. Um, do we need to play better on defense than we did last week? There's no question. There's absolutely no question. Did we put them in an absolutely, on a scale of 1 to 10, did we put them in the worst position that you have to be in as a defensive uh, coordinator? Absolutely, we did that. And again, that's my responsibility. So if people are upset with a, a coach or a position, because we got them all this week, right? We got, you know, what we got to do to catch the ball better. We got, we got every email that you can get. But at the end of the day, it's my responsibility. There's nothing that goes on in this building that I do not approve sign off on, co-sign, uh, or have input on. So at the end of the day, uh, I know that we have to, uh, to fix a lot of things. I'm as disappointed as anybody in that loss. Um, I'm equally disappointed in the way it transpired, uh, Manny. So I don't know if any of that answers your question, but it does kind of give you an idea that you know, it's really important um, that we, we continue the continuity and we just move forward. We just keep pushing forward because it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy, and it's really important that as a, as a, as a staff and as an organization. Now, let's push forward, and, uh, and we do have some handcuffs off from a recruiting standpoint for the first time since we've been here. My first recruiting class was six weeks. There was nobody scheduled to visit. The next two years were hell. You guys know it. I know it. We're excited about moving forward, and we've got to stop talking about all this other stuff, and we've got to get our eyes focused on Duke. Yep. Minutes a game. Uh, is, is that puzzling to you? Have you and James talked about play calling 
terms of how to extend drives on. Yeah, um, ex you know, you're exactly right. And, and again, the, the compound effect on that is, is the defense. Okay, so we're not getting off the field uh, at the level we need to on defense, all right? So, and, and we're not doing it on offense. Three and outs have also hurt us. Uh, or first down efficiency. So you're exactly right. Uh, we have talked about it. Uh, we're going to continue to improve that. And uh, but there's no there's no question. We got to do a better job than that. And again, it's in terms of getting specifics out of me on that, you know, it's just not going to happen. But just understand that we we recognize that that's an issue, and it has trickled down to affect time of possession, which again uh, impacts the defense. Yeah, well, the good news is, you know, they don't change too much when they're in there. Uh, they both can run, uh, so they both do have quarterback runs. They both have mobility. Uh, if the pocket breaks down, they can move and create. They both can move the pocket, sprint, play action. Um, so again, I, and I, you know, and I, they've had success with both of them. Uh, all Boone has done since he's been a starter is win. Um, that's what he's done. So uh, veteran offensive line up front, two good running backs, Crowder. Having a great year at wide out, 100 yards a game, catching. Braxton, another young man, he's around 30 receptions. The tight end has done a good job for them. Uh, so again, it's a, it's a challenge. Uh, all I'm trying to teach the guys is these are one game seasons. You know, these are just, they're all one game and, and uh, we got to get locked and loaded uh, on each one of these. Uh, last year's game was a back Yeah. I, I mean, I don't want a track meet. I, I mean, I don't. Um, and uh, that's not really who we've been this year. You know, we haven't been, uh, although our time of possession isn't as good, it's not because we're going fast all the time. You know, uh, we've, we've run the ball better this year uh, in terms of our average. Um, so we've got to find a way to run the ball against uh, this defensive front. And uh, again, it's a veteran group. Now, uh, we've got to convert better. Our completion percentage, because he's got to be you know, we got to get closer to 65 if we're gonna if we're gonna hold on to the ball, and our third down has got to get, we got to get you know 45 percent on third down. We haven't done those two things, and uh, hopefully Stephen will continue to improve, and, and uh, you know we'll we'll see an even better Stephen than we saw the other night because I, I thought Stephen did a lot of really good things the other night. Uh, I heard uh, that Michael got injured, so he's in our thoughts and prayers. And uh, you know, I, uh, I I didn't see it, uh, but disappointed. Obviously, he's been playing really well and and doing a good job for them. It's tough when when you clearly don't have as many snaps offensively as you'd like to, and you have a quality starting tight end Clyde Walford. That said, had your hope that maybe that we'd see more Sam in the passing game. This year or not? Yeah, I think that's a fair question. <clears throat> we've been doing, we've been trying to see, get him in more the last two weeks, and we're going to continue to see him more. So uh, it's, it's, you're right on in terms of, uh, uh, first of all, I think Bo's doing really well. Um, he's doing really well. He's, he's learning it. Um, he's done a great job with his conditioning and physically. Um, and uh, it's not too big for him. You know, he, he enjoys. You know those moments and uh, that atmosphere, and uh, but I, I do think he is going to continue to play more down the stretch. He's earned that, and uh, and we wanted to do that last week. We just ran out of snaps, got behind the eight ball. Any other questions, guys? That was good. Thanks. Have have a great week, guys. Thanks. Thank you.